female John Wick, throw me fucking in. I'll watch that. What is up, everyone? My name is Zach, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new review for the new movie coming out this weekend, Atomic Blonde. Oh yeah, this review's a little bit more late than my other ones, but I didn't get the early screenings, and I just waited to see it with some of my friends. So I was excited to watch it with my friends, and I gotta say... I'm kind of disappointed in the film. I, I thought it was going to be better. I don't mean the quality's not bad. The quality is actually really good for this film. But it's more of what the story they told. And I thought it was going to be more of a John Wick action movie. But it, we got more of a James Bond Casino Royale with some John Wick action in there. And yeah, that sounds really cool. But the story's kind of bland. The story for me was just a generic double agent spy movie. And that that's what it was. It's just I've seen it all before. And I think that's my one big gripe with it, was because I was very not interested in the story at all. There was some parts, when the movie started, I was invested, but then it just kept going and going and going, and this twist and turn happens, and then this twist and turn happens, and then this twist and turn happens, and I'm like, how many fucking twists and turns are we going to get? Usually I don't have a problem with twists and turns, keep me on the edge of my seat, but this film does it every single corner, and it just never hooked me into the story. And it's so bland, because the movie can have such high momentum, and then it sinks back down. And it, the reason it does that is because a lot of the times the story is taking place in a debriefing room after the mission had happened. So you know Charlize Theron's character is safe for majority of the film. So it kind of takes away from a lot of the tension of her action sequences. Charlize Theron's very good. I think she did a good job with what she had in here. Same with Sofia Batella, who I thought was underused in the film, could have been used way more. James McAvoy is excellent. I mean, it's James McAvoy. And I thought David Leitch, the director of this, who's, he actually co-directed John Wick and done a lot of the stunt choreograph for The Matrix, Civil War, and he's out doing the upcoming Deadpool 2. I think he did had a lot of talent to do with this film. The way he filmed the action scenes was actually brilliant. And I really liked how he told the story, even though the story was bland. I think he did the most he could with the script he had. Sometimes people can be like, well, it's the director they should have been able to spice it up and throw things, some things in there but i don't think so i don't think i think it was purely just the script being a generic spy movie and i think he tried to throw as much flair as he could in there and he did a good job with it i think he did the best work he could with it and it still gets me excited for to see him do a deadpool 2 because the script's probably gonna be better for deadpool 2 with the writers on board for that movie i think that's like my one big con is just the story it was so bland it never hooked me in i was just kind of disappointed throughout the whole film because there wasn't a lot of action and the action scenes they do show in this movie we're almost in every single trailer. There is one, though, in particular, I, I will give to the benefit of the doubt, there's one in particular that they only show, like, a couple glimpses of in the trailers, and it turns out to be one of the best action sequences that I've seen this year. It was cool, but that shouldn't be the action sequence I'm waiting for. I wish that was the whole entire movie, because all the action sequences we see in the movie are from the trailer, and they're really that short. What I'm talking about in particular is probably, like, 15 minutes, and it was fucking badass. I think the thing I really liked about it was I could tell that Charlie Theron was actually doing their own stunts in that scene. It wasn't just a stunt double, because they kept it on her face. It was very filmed. It was filmed a little shaky cam, but it was filmed in that great shaky cam that a Born Ultimatum or something was filmed like, and I liked how David Leach directed that, because he threw in some of his own flair he threw in some kingsman action with the camera movements and then he threw in some shaky cam too and it all surprisingly worked pretty well the scene's really badass this is that staircase scene you see in the trailer i, I that, i'll leave it at that but it, it's really cool to see that she's not this overpowered superhuman like she does get tired and i like seeing that when they can do that into a movie is that like these people aren't complete superheroes they can't do this it's not like fast and furious where they can throw a bunch of punches shoot and they're never tired no she gets tired and you see that and i like like that a lot i think the only other con i can actually throw out there for atomic blonde that really took me jarred is that you know those movies where it feels like it's ending they build up to an ending and then it just ends this isn't one of those movies it builds up like multiple times and then just keeps going and it, it kept, I could have been like, hey, you could have ended it there, could have ended it there, could have ended it there. And I think that's where I was kind of like, okay, I'm just end the movie already. Like, I understand what's coming. Just, just end it. It's just throwing in more twists and turns around each corner. And I didn't need that. You could have ended it, I think, a little 15 minutes more early. And I think the movie would have been better bunched up and better paced. But just with this bland story, it didn't never catch me in guard. And maybe I'm the opposite. Maybe a lot of people really like the story in this. Maybe it's just me. But I was expecting a whole lot more. And I, was, I think it was because I was expecting a lot more action from this film. I was expecting a John Wick. And that might just be my expectations that got the best of me. But I'm out of all my friends, they even said the same thing. I was expecting more action because that's what the trailer sold me. So if you do go into this movie, totally don't expect action. Expect some action in there. And expect a generic spy story. But if you're, you're intrigued to see this and you're intrigued to see a super badass woman spy... 
because I love seeing all the forefront for women this year with Wonder Woman, this film now, and a bunch of other films also this year. I like seeing how they're putting them in the forefront, and I like seeing that. So go and support this movie. If you're intrigued, I do give a recommendation to go and try it out yourself, but if you're kind of like on the edge, you're like, I don't know if I want to see it, maybe wait to see it for free. I think it's a good movie if you kept it on cable, but nothing that I'm totally left impressed with. I was just left impressed with the director. I'd like to see what he can do next because I think he showed a lot of potential by himself without his partner that he usually films with, and I like seeing that in here. And I'm stupid. I need to mention about the soundtrack in here. The soundtrack is really really good. I liked all the songs they picked out. Just sometimes when they picked out some songs, they were really placed wrong because it, it's like all this happy music and it's like people were dying and I'm like, I shouldn't be happy in the scene, but I'm digging the music. And it just felt a little jarring sometimes, but a lot of the sequences, a lot of the songs are placed really good in there and they're edited to the so action, which I really like, except that staircase scene complete silence and I love that that was I think that's one of the reasons I really love that scene because I totally remembered it was just silent with just them fighting and it was awesome with all that said guys I'm gonna give Atomic Blonde a C Atomic Blonde really isn't the worst movie I've seen this year and it's not one of the best but I did enjoy the film for what it was I just expected a little bit more because my expectations and maybe that's just where my expectations got the best of me but what did you guys think about Atomic Blonde please comment down below and let me know and let's talk about it down below in the comments and if you guys didn't know I also got to see Annabelle Creation the new Annabelle horror film the sequel to that horrible spinoff it's I did a review for it please go check that out it's actually surprisingly really good and I think you guys would want to hear my review and see why you guys should check that movie out but like I said Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to talk about Atomic Blonde down below with you guys and review more movies. Of course, a bunch of movies coming out. You got Dark Tower and Detroit next week. Dark Tower, I'm really surprised to see, and I can't wait to talk about that one, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day.